Hey guys, today we are going to talk about 8 coolest multi-platform apps for your camera phone. This means that it doesn't matter what the make of your phone is or what OS it runs on. These apps will work on any device. Before we begin, I want to say that downloadable applications can be really useful as they can help your smartphone unlock amazing abilities you never thought it had. Besides, they can enrich your toolkit and take your mobile photography to the next level. There are countless apps on the market, and in order to save your time and energy, I have shortlisted 8 most interesting options that I use myself. The great thing about these apps is that they are all free. Let's get rolling. First comes the manual camera application. Its name speaks for itself. The app allows you to adjust all the settings of your your camera manually, namely focus, shutter speed and white balance. The app is very intuitive, so you won't need to spend a lot of time mastering it. Manual camera is free with in-app purchases that give you further control over your camera. For instance, you can shoot your images in RAW, which is an uncompressed uh, format that provides the best quality and is perfect for post-editing. There is also the paid pro version that gives gives even more tools for monitoring your shots, for instance in terms of uh, over or underexposure. Now about the downside. This application is mostly aimed at vertical images. If you simply flip your phone on each side, the interface won't adjust. Besides, the app only works with photos, so if you predominantly shoot videos, it won't do you any good. Now an app for shooting videos. It's called Pro Movie. When you install this app to your camera phone, you get to control the wall package, the shutter, ISO, white balance, focus. You can use both manually and other settings. I especially love the feature that allows you to unlock a certain setting. For instance, I want to follow the 180 degree roll when shooting the video. Then if I have a 25 frames per second rate, I need to double the shutter speed. I simply tap the shutter tool, set the value as I see that the value now is highlighted in red, which means it is locked and won't change. Naturally, the app is full of additional features that include various grid overlays, leading lines and the level. You can choose whatever grid you want in the settings. I would also like to mention the quality enhancement that the app provides. You have a myriad of options. You are free to choose the aspect ratio, the resolution, etc. Just keep in mind that it won't won't resemble the settings of a photo camera. You'll have other important settings including but not limited to the frame rate. For example, a 240 frame rate will allow you to shoot videos with a 9 times slower playback speed. The application is free but it superimposes a watermark over your videos. Once you get rid of it, you have to pay. Another downside of the app is its slightly confusing interface that will take some time to get adjusted to. One more thing, you can't use the app to shoot photos, it's only video oriented. The next tab, Adobe Lightroom. It's basically a photo editor for your phone, but it also has a built-in camera module that grants you access to all the camera settings. Once you switch into the Pro mode, the app's interface strongly resembles uh, that of manual camera. You simply pick a certain settings and change its value with a slider. What makes this app stand aside from tons of others? Well, for starters, it allows you to shoot in the DNG format, which is an uncompressed format developed by the Adobe company. Besides, Adobe Lightroom also lets you shoot both vertical and horizontal images. And since we are talking the topic of photo editors, I want to make a little detour. No matter how good the mobile app is, it will never be enough. You can only get an impressive result when you process your image with a photo editor. So if you are in need of a feature-packed but easy program, then take a look at PhotoWorks. This pro-level photo editor lets you perform your only 
extremely basic manipulation like color correction, but also try advanced features that would realize your creative ideas. The software allows you to swap the photo background, stylize your images with numerous filters and color grade them with nifty 3D LUTs. There is also the batch processing feature that lets you enhance your watermark and bulk of photos at once. You can download PhotoWorks if you follow the link in the description. What's more, the same link will give you a sweet discount on the first version of the software. But let's get back. ProCam is another app for video recording. Just don't confuse it with ProMovie that I mentioned earlier. Just like any other app, ProCam gives you access to your camera settings. This application made its way into this list for two reasons. First, it provides amazing stabilization. Just install this app and you won't need to get a third-party stabilizer. There is a drawback to that, since you'll be previewing the video with a little lag, but it is something you can get used to. Besides, there is no need to use this stabilizing feature each time you record a video. Another amazing thing about ProCam is a host of built-in 3D LUTs that make the colors look bright and allow you to color grade your footage, so there is no need for post-processing. These presets even include those that imitate a VHS tape and a 8mm film. However, these perks are only available in the paid version. The Horizon Camera app is an interesting discovery. It does not grant access to your camera settings, but it can always keep the horizon straight and in the landscape mode no matter if you hold your camera horizontally or vertically. You can choose one of two leveling modes. The frame can be locked in place or be flexible and depend on the rotation of your device. Besides, the application comes with a set of 3D LUTs. Among the drawbacks of the app are a slight loss of quality. The app is not magical in any way and it simply grabs the frame to keep it in landscape mode. Well, at least you won't have to do it yourself. VSCO is a very popular app with tons of presets that never get old. The app has no tools for camera settings control, but you get access to tons of effects. There is one particular game, the prism effect. It really gives an illusion of shooting through a prism. The application has tons of editing presets, I actually lost count of them. There are also filters that imitate various photo films or artistically stylize your images. There is little wiggle room in terms of customization, but the sheer number of effects seems more important. The downside to VSCO is that the majority of these effects will only be available once you get a subscription. Focus is an app that can blur the background of your image using its AI. There are very few camera settings in the app, just correction of exposure and white balance, but the blurring effect is awesome. To do it, you need to set the aperture, set the focus point to where the focus should be and BAM! Background is blurred. But if I change the focus point, uh, the object gets blurred. You can see the AI working when it sets the shutter speed. By the way, you can blur the background of your photo real images as well. When choosing the focus point, make it clear what you want to keep intact and want to blur. As you can see, you can play with the effects to your heart's desire. It is a very cool application. Candy Camera lives up to its name. With it, you can make really sweet photos and videos. The app has tons of filters that include beautification effects that can, for instance, smooth the skin. So this has been my roundup of 8 most interesting smartphone applications. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked my choice. And let me know in the comments what applications are your go-to choice. I'll have a look at them and maybe make a video about them too. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon.